Hello! In this video we are looking at what happens when you bulk ferment too long. I'm in it though and here the right hand though you can see that it doesn't look so smooth anymore. The left hand one looks a little bit smoother. Although both are the same though. It starts to stick more than usual. And this happens because I bulk fermented it for too long. Now the exact time that you should bulk ferment this depends on how much sourdough starter you're using, how active your starter is, and also how warm your kitchen is. Definitely wait until your dough doubles in size. I always advise to finish bulk fermentation a little bit faster because you want your dough to be stronger. The longer you ferment, the more sour your dough gets and the harder it is for the dough to maintain its structure. So it's all about finding the sweet spot and this happens to me a lot so my tip here is really don't ferment too much try a little bit less and I wanted to show you a couple of examples um, on good fermentation versus bad fermentation here this bread out bread turned out really nicely look at the nice looking ear at the top this is something we're not gonna get from the other dough that I showed you the dough is not going to rise as much. It's going to taste good, but it's not going to rise as much. And here, look at this beautiful open crumb and the ear on the left hand side. Nope, we're not going to get that. Our bread is going to look a little bit more like this. <laughs> it turned out too flat. Also, I might have used too little water here. The crumb is still nice though, um, but still it's not going to rise as much. See, it's more flat. So, my learning, don't bulk ferment too long, try bulk fermenting a little bit shorter.